Hi guys. Once again, it's football season, so today I thought I'd show you how to make four of my football favorites that are guaranteed to please the crowd and are very easy to put together. So what we're going to start off with is I'm going to show you how to make authentic uh, salsa in a blender, which is as easy as that it can get. Then we're going to use the salsa to make a three-layer hot Mexican dip, followed by, got to have your halftime eats, right? We're going to show you how to make real homemade Boston baked beans with beer. And last but not least, we're going to make pigs in a blanket with, you got it, beer biscuits. So stand by and we're going to get ready to start working on our football favorites. All right. To get started, we need to take a green pepper and an onion and we need to dice it. So let's start doing that. And the way I like to cut my green peppers is like this. It makes it a lot easier. No muss, no fuss, not a lot of mess. You get the most out of the pepper and the least amount of crap you got to throw away. I even cut off the little edges here because those are that's good green pepper too. Just cut the corners. And then you can toss out this bad boy. And what we're going to do is we're going to dice these things up pretty fine. And we're going to use half of it for the salsa. And we're going to use the other half for our baked beans with beer. And again, this isn't rocket science, but you know, you want to make sure you've got enough to go around. So I'm dicing these things up fairly small. They're going to be even smaller once we run them through the blender. <laughs> Trying not to get any fingers in the mix. There we go. There we go. And then once we're done with this, we're going to do the same thing with Mr. Onion. Alright. Let's get working on doing the same thing to the onion over here. I'm using sweet Vidalia onions, but you know, pretty much any onion will do. Some recipes require certain types of onions, but this one you can use a certain amount of latitude. And again, to make things easy, what I like to do is cut the thing in half, and then you can peel off the inedible portion very quickly. And then just like with the onion, you want to make, you set your size by doing it that way. Again, be careful, you are using a knife. I'm going to get this thing fairly fine. But again, you'll be throwing these things through a blender, so it's not such a big deal. Okay. And I'll come back to do this other half later because, like I said, that's for the, um, that's going to be for the, bo the Boston baked beans with beer. So, what I'll do right now is get Mr. Bowl. Bonk and put the first half of the onion in there and a half of the green peppers in there. Like I said, this is a real delicate maneuver here. All right, and then let's take it over to the blender station. As you know, I don't use a lot of canned goods, but in this case you really need to because what you're going to need is some tomato products and I'm using some a large can of crushed red tomatoes which I'm going to Pour into Mr. Blender, if I can get it far enough out to be able to pour. So pour into Mr. Blender. Alright. I'm also using a can of Rotel because this has some green chilies in it and it's chunky, see? So what I'm going to do is drain the Rotel because you don't want to make it too wet. And then once it's good and drained, I'm going to throw the chunky green chilies and tomatoes in there. And then last but not least, I bought another can of green chilies because you can't have too much. Now some people like to put jalapenos in there, but for some people jalapenos can be a little bit too piquant. So what I'm going to do 
is just throw in a couple of shots of hot sauce. Okay, and then I'm going to add some of my green peppers and my onions. And again, you know, this is not something where you have to have an exact thing. I just like to put in a certain amount, hit blend, and then as we go along, we'll take care of Oh yeah, one last thing. You always want to put in a little bit of vinegar, or what I'm going to use in this case is about a tablespoon of lime juice, because I like lime juice. All right, and we'll get that started. Well, you can also do this in a Cuisinart. Again, it's totally up to you what you have in your kitchen, but I find that a blender does a good job on it too, so I'm going to use the blender, and I'm going to put the rest of the onions and peppers in there. So I'm going to give it a little pinch of salt. Okay, a couple of little pinches of salt. Okay, a little bit of ground black pepper. And again, close and grind. That's all there is to it, guys. Then I'm going to pour this bad boy into a big bowl. Glug, 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 which I'm going to put into the fridge because you want to let this thing sit for at least a couple of hours. Better yet, it would be overnight before we, we actually use it. So there you go. You got your fresh salsa, which is going to be the base for our next recipe, which is going to be our hot three-layered Mexican dip. Stand by.